Dave being here. Thank you for being somewhat awake. And uh, if you haven't gotten, um, as you were told, Brian very kindly has brought bagels and muffins and fruit. So there's all sorts of good stuff out there. And I'm reasonably confident that they don't want all the staff to end up having to eat all that stuff. Although maybe they would like that, I don't know. So make sure that you uh, get yourself something. Okay, if you need to get up and do that during this meeting by all means. Um, so this is pretty exciting. We are closing in on the end of this, folks. I know it feels like it's been a long slog, especially for those of you that have been involved with this since the very, very beginning, back in 2008. But we're closing in on the end of it. And uh, we're going to have a pretty good sense of where this organization is going and what you're going to be working on in the very near future. So we'll talk about that in a second. I'm going to give you a warning. Um, I usually kind of look at mics that go, yeah, like, yeah, if you listen to me, I, I, I'm not usually a quiet person. But um, I've, I've got stuff going on today, and I suspect I'm going to lose my throat before the end of the day, so it's kind of a matter of time at this point. So if my voice starts to go, I'll just have to move this thing up and like, be loud. So we'll make it work. All right, but if you hear something funny going on in my speaking, you'll know why. Um, all right, so I actually walked away from my copy of the agenda. Make sure I wasn't missing anything. The first thing we're going to do today is to take a look at where we're going to be going after today. Now, as you guys know, when we started out this process, or this phase of the process, when we started working on the implementation, how we were going to implement what came out of the previous phases, the previous the understandings that came out of the previous phases of going places. When we started that process, we started by framing up, taking a big step back from all of the previous work and saying, okay, what are the main things? With some time having gone by, what are some of the main, the main things that we need to address for the future of the prosperity of this region? At the time, we called those things to keep you up at night, and that evolved into the five themes. And under those themes, over the last few months, We've been working through the process of saying, well, here are some things that we can do to address these broad issues. Here are some potential strategies. Here are some very concrete things that this organization has the capability of doing to help make that happen. So we've been working through this. We have five themes today we're going to do the same process that we've done over the last few months on the very last one. We're purposely keeping this very consistent, and I'll show you why in a minute. Before we get into talking about that theme, I want to talk, show you a little bit of this game plan. You have one of these slides in your handout, and I'll show you that slide in a minute. So just for a minute, this is going to be longer than what you've got in your packet. But I wanted, I, I, I wanted to give you this kind of longer version so that I could unpack it a little bit more. What we're trying to do here is to strike a balance between getting these tools developed and figure out how to do them in a very clear and very concrete manner. We're trying to do that in a way that engages you as meaningfully and as hands-on as we possibly can the way that you've been involved in the work on these themes today, where your thumbprint, you know, we come up with these tools for consideration, but your thumbprints are all over this. What do I do? Oh, that could be what you don't want to see all the stuff on the side? <laughs> Thank you, Mark. All right, so we want to engage you, we want your thumbprints on this thing, beginning to end. At the same time, however, 
We know you've been working on this for a really long time. And you've been, over the last few months, slogging through and slogging through and slogging through this stuff. So we're trying to take what you have given us and put it together and move the process forward as expeditiously as possible. Remember that this remains yours. And silence should not be assumed to be approval. We want your approval, but if you don't approve, don't just sit silent and let it turn into a problem down the road. Tell us. Okay? So we're going to move fairly quickly, especially after the beginning of the year. But please speak up. Please say what you need to say. Here's a sketch, and I'm going to unpack this a little bit. This is in your handout, okay? Here's basically the game plan. We have until early April. We've been told that we need to, if possible, have this wrapped up by the end of April. All right? That means that at the end of what we're going for is to have a full document that is approved by this committee, recommended to the TAC and the board by this committee, and that is recommended by the TAC to the board and approved by the board by the board's April 3rd meeting. And I'll unpack some of that in a minute. So, today, November 13th, is the last time we're going to do this activity with these sheets. All right? If you love them, you can bid them a fond farewell. If you hate them, you can bid them a different kind of farewell. Today we're going to be working for the last theme, which is assets. On November 19th, and you've got the flyer for this in your, in your handout, we have the second of our ad hoc advisor events, and that's with my friend Chuck Barone who is a national speaker, international now, who is both a planner and an engineer. And what Chuck has been so uniquely able to do is to make the connections between how we develop, between how we make decisions about land use and development and redevelopment, and how that impacts our, our fiscal bottom line in communities, how that impacts our taxes, our ability to pay for the stuff that we got to pay for as a local government. I've known Chuck for years. I've heard Chuck speak many, many times. I've recommended him as a speaker in many, many places. And I've never heard anything except for thank you. That was eye-opening. That was that was transformed. And the nice thing is that he does it in a way that's not going to make you feel like you got hit with a pile of bricks. He does it in a very rational, a very logical, and very articulate manner. And I think you'll really appreciate it. I'm told that we have 110 people RSVP. RSVPs are open until Monday at noon. So if you have folks, if you want to go, or if you have folks from your community who want to go, tell them to get in their RSVP very quickly. We're close up against the, the, the upper limit of what we can and accommodate. And again, reservations close on Monday. This event is coming right up. The, the tools reporting piece on November 22nd, that's actually um, kind of an internal document. We're going to make sure that everybody who is on, who's on staff and the consulting teams, that we all know what the tools look like and we've all got a sense of, of what the results from all of this work have been. When we get to January, over the course of November and December, we're going to be putting together an analysis of the tools. Okay? We're going to be putting together 
a, a, a document that goes through the tools that you folks have reviewed and endorsed and says, okay, these fit together. Because if you remember, as we looked at different themes, there have been some tools that have been kind of similar. So if there's a way to hold them together, we'll, we'll figure out how to hold them together. And we'll start to we'll sketch out how that implementation might work. Okay? We'll do an analysis in that process that looks at a few of the resources that's required. What's the, the challenges, what are the constraints to putting that tool in action? This recording, this analysis, will include very transparently the results of what you've done. The voting, if you can remember, when you've done these, you've done it, you've done two different kinds of voting processes. You, you, discussed and voted at a table, and you put your your, um, your initials as to whether you want to continue keep the tool or not, and then you've done dot on the wall after we posted them all. So all of that information, we've been giving that to you in the meeting summaries, but all of that information will be in that analysis too. So we'll be developing that, and we'll be developing a survey for you over the course of last part of November, first part of December. We're not going to have a December meeting. Let the crowd say amen. Let <laughs> the people say amen. Um, we will not meet December. We realize that December is chaos for, especially for you folks who, you know, have administrative responsibilities. So we're not even going to ask you for that. We will be developing these materials over the, sorry, over the course of December. At the beginning of January, you're going to get that analysis document, and you're going to get a survey. Now, the survey will go to, the analysis document will go to everybody. The survey, which will say, what do you see here? Is there anything that causes you concern? Is there anything that causes you a red flag? Is there anything that you don't think we should carry forward? That survey is going to go to the members of the steering committee and the PAC. If you have an alternate, I'd recommend that you be prepared, be looking for that, and be ready to forward that to your alternate. We will give the alternates also a heads up, but we want to make certain that we're treating this fairly. So, if if your if your community has had a person who sort of formally sits on the steering committee or the path, but then sometimes you have an alternate, we're going to let the alternate know that the survey is out so that they can coordinate with the person they alternate for. But I want to make certain that we're being very, very, very fair about how we handle this survey, okay? The people who have been guests will get a notification saying, this is out here, this is what's going on, but because the guests were not officially appoint appointed to this responsibility, the guests are not going to get that survey, okay? So in January, there's gonna be a deadline of January, I believe it's 11th, where we're going to need that feedback back. Then, on January 22nd, this meeting is going to be from 2 to 4 p.m. On January 22nd, we're going to convene, and we're basically going to have a red flag discussion. We're going to look through this list of the tools that you have endorsed, that you have altered, that you have revised, and we're going to say, okay, are these the ones that we want to go with. Are these the ones that, is there anything here that worries people? We're going to have that discussion. After that point, we need to get feedback from three other groups. One is the TAC, one is the board, and one is the public. So after you have given your analysis of that of how we put your work together, then we will take that with your with your revisions to the TAC for information, and we'll answer 
questions from them, and we're talking about doing an exit survey with them to try to identify anything that has particularly strong support, anything that has particularly strong concerns, etc. Okay, we'll do the same thing with the board. In February, during, between the presentations of the board and the PAC, PAC, wrong words, we will be having three public open houses. And those dates have been tentatively set, but we don't have locations yet. So we'll let you know when those are available. We're trying to get them in different parts of the region. So we should be able to, to, to spread it out. Probably will be five, we just don't have time to do five. But we're looking at doing three. And they'll be well, basically similar to the open houses that we've done in the previous phases of this. On March 5th, so this is the second day, that's why these are in red. On March 5th, this committee will meet again. And that's again going to be 2 to 4 p.m. Okay? We'll send lots of reminders about this stuff. Okay? I can't guarantee there'll be food. Maybe Brian and I will arm wrestle to see, you know, if I like my bagels better than his. I figured he was up all night setting up all that after he got there. So, you know, I don't know if I can compete with that. Um, at that March 5th meeting, prior to that, you will be receiving the feedback, a summary of the feedback from the TAC, from the board, and from the public. We're very careful to do all of these things in a written format, just like you've done previously here, so that we can document it so that we can share it with you and not be just giving you interpretations. Okay? Once we've done that, on March 5th, by March 5th, you will also be receiving a draft report. You will have already seen a lot of the content though. So that draft report will be, you know, not a whole lot of anything earth for shape. But when you get that draft report, that's what you're going to be revising and hopefully recommending to the TAC and the board at the March 5th meeting. At the end of March, in the beginning of April, the TAC and the board will have their routine meetings. The hope and the intent is that because of all of the work that you all have put in to date, that this will be kind of anti-climactic. But by this point, everybody knows what's in there. Anything that might have caused confusion or concern has been figured out, and we're ready to roll. And at that point, the fun for you guys begins, because you'll have a lot of really great things to start working on. Are there any questions on this process today? <clears throat> Some more else, Lisa? All right. We have been videotaping this piece of the presentation so that I can see how completely running out of fumes I look like at the moment. No. Um, so that we'll be able to share this with your colleagues who aren't here today. So hopefully everybody will have a very clear understanding of where we're going at this point. Okay? Any questions? Any comments? 